Hello, Gemini. So this is your love reading for June. Okay, so I have to remind you guys again that this is a general reading, so it may not apply to everyone. In case you would like a reading, private reading, you can contact me. I left the information below. Okay, so Gemini, June. Love. Reading. Gemini, Gemini. Oops. Gemini. Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Innocence or the Sun card, the Hermit, and the Dream. Um, okay, so from this card, you're a little bit stuck on the past. This both two cards have a um, strong connection to the past. Um, this one's called the attachment of the past, and this is the dream, like projecting, remembering how things were, and there's the sense of loss and the sense of um, maybe disappointment, nostalgia, the sense of not being able to get something back maybe you're I don't know maybe you're remembering some other relationship you had and you some, somehow maybe even idealize it because you're stuck with the memories you're in your mind somehow and you're just unable to get over it you're too upset over something that you felt like you lost um, but Things don't look bad, actually. Um, there's someone here with an open heart for you. Like this openness. Things, the sun is finally... It's like you're not seeing the blessings that you're having now. Because somehow you're, you're still stuck in your past. And with this hermit mode... Yeah, you're, like, you're in a hermit mode. You're still ruminating. On the past, you're still unable to let go of whatever it was or whatever you th think that you've lost. Uh, and you kind of isolated yourself. Um, like even if you're with someone, you can still be isolated because you detach emotionally, you detach mentally and you're somehow stuck somewhere in your head. Uh, unwilling to let go. So this is idea of you detaching and going in the hermit mode, isolating and still ruminating on the past and on how things were and being unable to get out of this state of mind. And there's this maybe sense of regret, maybe um, unable to detach from the past. And this is like you're unable to see what the blessings that you have now. It, it looks like now is the time for you to look ahead. And it's like you're already receiving something, but you're not seeing it because you're stuck in the past. Because you're too busy um, ruining on that thing isolated yourself that you, you can't see what you have right now what is opening right now for you because we have this the innocence or the sun card <clears throat> is like things are happening for you the universe is kind of opening new gates for you or it's like this idea of openness but you're not seeing it because you're still stuck there 
and with this blossoming now it's your time it's like I feel like the universe is telling you now it's your time now you can do this like things are finally looking great like this this beautiful rainbow in front of you and you don't even see it because you to stop remembering the last rainbow you've seen and is is because that one disappeared you're st stuck with the memory of the last rainbow in rainbow and you're unable to see the rainbow right there in front of your face and so yeah so from this card you see like it's now you've blossomed like this this idea of um You blossom, it's like it's ready, like you're ready for your new adventure, you're ready for this new beginning, you're ready for this, whatever the universe will give you. You're ready somehow on a level, but with your mind you're still stubborn. Uh, the situation or the moment is like when you're ready, some things have passed, some experiences that you needed, you needed past, and now there's time to um, get to the next level, but you're still stuck. You're still unable to recognize where you are. It's like, I don't know, it's like uh, when you're walk walking up a mountain and while walking, you're just, you don't see where you're walking you don't even see the mountain because you're stuck with your mind and you're remembering things and you reach the top of the mountain and you don't even know it that you're on top of the mountain because in your mind you're still I don't know thinking of something that passed sometimes uh, that happened sometimes in the past and you're still remembering that you're still caught in that and you're unwilling to realize wow I'm at the, I'm at the top of the mountain <laughs> finally reached that so it, I, I get from this card so like is this type of thing um okay let me draw some more cards and you're also exhausting yourself with this thoughts with this like they're repeating this exhaustions like repeating 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 the same thing and you're unable to get out of this loophole so you have to uh, have some self-awareness realize what you're doing stop doing it like you you've you're doing like it's some sort of a routine you're stuck in this routine in this routine in the, the sense of thoughts the same thoughts they're become a routine for you and you're just caught in there and these thoughts go round and round in your mind is you're kind of exhausted from there but because your routine because you're used to them because you you're attached to them and now you're stuck there so you have to wake up stop doing the same things realize that this is a every day is a new beginning every day is a new opportunity new potential there's no point to be stuck in the past there's no point in uh you make yourself miserable you make yourself there's no point whatever was it was let it go um you need to enjoy this moment now you need to create new i don't know beginnings new <laughs> adventures forget about what was forget about oh how it was and how it forget about it you, you need to live now in this moment Live now and stop. You know, it's sort of like people when they grow old uh, and then they start regretting their youth and oh, and they think like, oh no, it's never going to be as good as when I was young. And instead of living their lives now and enjoying what they have, they still think, oh no, if I'm not young, that young again, I'll never be able to have those kind of experiences. So they're kind of stuck in that mind and thinking that oh it's never gonna be like this it's just la 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 like if so it's focus on what you don't have anymore and because you focus on that you can't even see what you have actually that you can still enjoy a lot of things that you can still actually a lot of times uh, you have much more beautiful things coming to you later like oh uh, 
when you you didn't even think like how to say <laughs> how to say this uh so when you sometimes you have like this good things happen to you when you don't expect them Beca because somehow with your mind you think that no it's impossible i could not uh, enjoy something as much then like somehow your mind puts condition on when you're happy and when you're not and some your mind puts condition no you can only be happy if you're like this you can only be happy if you're with that person or if in this condition but this is all false this is all just mind it's all bullshit so you gotta shake yourself up from whatever you thought that you've lost or you don't have anymore and somehow you think that oh I can't ever be happy or I can ever because I don't have that or I don't have this like this is false this is you being caught in this lie happiness can come when you least expect it um, some people are you know in this with attachment of, to, of youth because I'm, I'm saying you I'm talking about youth because this card is also about reminiscing sometimes on the times where you were younger or something like this and maybe it may be a situation where someone is thinking no it's already too late i'm already too old i cannot ever not enjoy what i had like this is false sometimes like in when you're in your teenage years or in your 20s or even your 30s you can be miserable and and maybe you can meet the love of your life when you're 40 or when you're 50 or even you when you're 60 and you still can still enjoy love so no matter what the circumstances you are don't allow yourself to think that you're caught that you can never have something again because you don't have youth or because you don't have that person or because you don't have that thing this is false this is all bullshit enjoy the moment now what universe is bringing you enjoy every moment enjoy everything you have let go of the past if there's some good memories be grateful for that but don't get stuck on it like oh I don't have it anymore so then I'm miserable no everything passes we cannot grab onto anything so if you had good memories good remember them but don't be stuck on them with this nostalgia and thinking that oh I'm so this situation is so shitty now I was so happy then because sometimes the mind has a tendency to idealize some things in the past that actually weren't even that great but because the mind is attached or it's like it projects sometimes and you think oh my god I had the time of my life but it actually it wasn't like this at all or maybe if it was something bad that happened and that you still cannot let go uh, realize that you're not in the past anymore uh, you're in the future you're in the, you're in the present <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, you're there's infinite possibilities for you to make new experiences in your every day is a new adventure every day is like a new life in every day you can make new choices you can make new decisions you can there can be new things that happen to you every day is a new start so look at life like this stop being caught up on on the past whether if it was good or if it was bad it's pointless it's pointless, it just stops you from seeing what you have right now. So get out of this mind spin that you're now, this routine of the mind. You're not you're just going in circles and just isolating yourself because it's hard for you to let go of whatever it was in the past. So wake up from that, realize that every be every day is a new beginning. And every day is a potential for something beautiful to happen and it's never too late for anything and uh, just embrace life as it comes and enjoy the present moment let go of the past it doesn't matter if it was a beautiful past or if it was an unpleasant experience it doesn't matter it's past let it go focus on what is now so um, if this it could be maybe that you're maybe stuck on a person in your past and you don't see wh who you have now, what you have now. So, uh, yeah, don't do that. Like, appreciate what you have now. Open up yourself towards the present and towards what is coming to you now and what will come in the future. 
uh, you'll have to let go eventually. And um, okay, let me see with this comic card. The time is is come. It's it's done. Like the ripening, it's done. You need to let it go. See, like the fall falling from the tea. It's done. It's culmination. The experience is done. It's finally the moment for you to let it go. It's finally the moment for you to start to to have in the beginning and be grateful for whatever experience you had, but don't be attached to it. So, <clears throat> yeah, allow allow yourself. Um, how to say? Uh, allow yourself to have this like a new beginning a new journey new learn from experience and don't let it uh, condition you don't let it bound bind you um, <clears throat> and from the Sun card you see like this old man he's old he had a lot of experiences in his life but it's still open it does just because he lived through a lot and he had it, it doesn't mean that he's closed off to life he's still open look at this like he looks with curiosity and openness towards this insect and with like it had it still has the innocence of a child so no matter your age or no matter your circumstance you can always be open to new experiences and you don't have to let the past affect you um so embrace what you have now enjoy what you have now because it's precious and let detach you learn how to detach from whatever was in the past you don't need to be stuck there allow yourself to have this like a new beginning um and to live in the present stop living in the past live in the present and be grateful for what you have now without the resentment of what you don't have anymore or what like forget that you have to let go and you have to live be able to live in the present live now so yeah this was the reading um, if you didn't resonate with this it's okay maybe it wasn't for you as I said it's a general reading it depends it might just maybe one person might resonate with this or you don't know I just put set the intention whoever needs to hear this I hope that they get the message. So in case you don't resonate, it's okay. Maybe it wasn't for you. Maybe next month I have a message for you. So yeah, this was the reading. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.